In this session, we'll see about lookup transformation. Lookup transformation, it uh, looks up data in flat file, logical data object or reference table or a relational table and return one or multiple rows based on our lookup condition. So since it can return one or multiple rows, it can be either an active transformation or a passive transformation. Uh, the scenario which we'll be seeing uh, is we need to look up and add new customers to the customer table. It's nothing but this is going to be our target table. So if you check the data here, uh, we have customer records and a customer update is a flat file which again has customer records. So we need to check if these records are present in this customer unique customers table and if it is not present then we need to insert those particular records so we'll do this using a lookup transformation and update uh, strategy transformation so let's see how to do it uh, first let's start creating a mapping okay finish so this is going to be our source table and we are going to use this as our lookup since we need to check whether it is present in the target table or not. So let's select all our columns in the source and put it into source ports. So let's check the properties here. So these are the general properties. So in case of multiple matches, uh, we can specify what uh, it should do, whether return first row, last row or any rows or all the rows here. Since we'd be uh, adding a unique customer record into the table, uh, uh, this uh, is not required currently. So next is ports. These are our source ports and these are our lookup columns. And uh, here is the query. Since ours is a relational table, uh, it can the SQL query can be over, overwritten by us. And again, here are the source uh, properties, the columns, keys. And relationships so next is the runtime properties first is the lookup cache enable so when it is enabled the integration service queries the lookup source once caches those values and looks up the values in the cache so when you disable this caching here uh, uh, so uh, for each and every row that passes into the transformation, the integration service is issues a select statement to lookup source for lookup values. So the next is uh, lookup data cache size and data index cache size and uh, cache file name prefix. This would automatically be enabled if we specify it as a persistent cache in the advanced properties so persistent cache is nothing but uh, uh, the integration service uh, saves lookup cache files and reuses them the next time it processes a lookup transformation configured to use this cache so it is mainly used when the lookup source does not change over time and a pre-built lookup cache is uh, uh, nothing but uh, it allows the integration service to build the lookup cache before the lookup transformation receives the data. So this is the lookup cache directory name and recache from lookup source is again uh, used in case of persistent cache where uh, it, it needs to be rebuild the lookup cache to synchronize the persistent cache with the lookup table that means if there is a change in the lookup source table so if we re recache it all the new values would be there in our persistent cache so next is here we need to provide the condition so just click so this is our customer number in the lookup table equal to the customer number in our source table next on to the advanced properties here so this is where we'll check on the lookup cache persistence suppose if we check here and go back to runtime properties these are enabled in our case it's not a persistent cache so we'll uncheck this uh, so ours will be a dynamic lookup cache 
dynamic lookup cache is nothing but uh, it, uh, the cache changes while the integration service processes the lookup so the integration service builds a dynamic lookup cache when it processes the first lookup request when it processes each row the integration service dynamically inserts or updates data into the lookup cache and passes the data to the target so it is sync uh, the dynamic cache is synchronized with the target so we use this mainly when we want to update a target based on new and change records so in our case we need to check up uh, our unique customers if the data is already present if it is not present then we need to insert it into target so suppose customer number one is not present in the target so while uh, we are running uh, this particular mapping first it will check up in the lookup one is not present in lookup so it will insert into our uh, lookup uh, cache as well and into our target as well so as soon as we check on this dynamic look lookup cache we see that some of our options are enabled these are used only for dynamic cache so update else insert so what it does is if there is uh, integration service updates the row in the cache if the row type entering the lookup transformation is update so when you see here when I check this there is a new uh, column added here new lookup row so it will have the data uh, the uh, new lookup row adds this port uh, only in case of dynamic cache it contains the value uh, either 0 1 or 2 0 means no update to the cache 1 is insert row into cache 2 means update row in cache so based on this uh, we will be either inserting our rows or updating our rows so Uh, the first one is uh, update else insert so first it updates the row in the cache if the row type entering the lookup transformation is up update uh, and uh, uh, for uh, the row which is not present if it is new then it performs the insert for insert else update first it will check if the row is uh, new if it is new then it will perform an insert and uh, then if it is already present it performs an update so output old value so uh, we need the updated value into our target or the old value into the target can uh, that can be decided on using this column so update dynamic cache condition it applies to dynamic lookup cache only again uh, and it is a nothing but an expression that indicates whether to update the dynamic cache the integration service updates the cache when condition is true and the data exists in the cache so finally if you see the connection whatever SQL connection we use here okay so next uh, we'll use an uh, update uh, strategy transformation here which uh, I'll discuss in detail in the later sessions so so I take all of my source ports here yeah and my new lookup row yeah here you go to update strategy so here I'm going to give if my new lookup row equal to 1 then dd underscore insert else underscore 
reject yeah uh, this condition is nothing but if my new lookup row is one 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 specifies it's an insert row as i discussed earlier so insert otherwise reject so validate this expression is valid now let me take my target it is right okay and link it to my target yeah so validate this actually properties columns actually our only customer table is sufficient we are not using these okay I'll just delete these columns yeah so now validate okay Okay, so we we had used only our customer number uh, here. So since we are not checking on first name, last name, so only the customer number uh, should be our lookup column. Now run this. So now if you check. Uh, this was the previous data now if you run see there is column 1 4 and 16 we have column 1 8 4 16 so the data has been added now for more sessions on uh, Informatica Power Center Express go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com